welcome back. In this episode, we prepare to leave Little River and head south. A few years ago, we started stocking up on long shelf life food such as canned bacon, beef, pork, and chicken from a company called Yoder's. Now that we are about to start cruising full time without a car to run to the grocery store as needed, this stockpile should come in very handy. Of course, we still needed to stock up on other items also, so off to the superstore. Any beer. Look at that. Walmart's cleaned out. You believe this? After filling up a couple shopping carts worth of stuff, the next step was to figure out where to fit it into the boat. The forward bilges proved to be very useful as well as the normal built-in storage locations around the boat. We did not film our escape from the tight slip in Coquina Harbor, but here is footage of the journey south from Little River through Myrtle Beach.
Our first stop is Bucksport for a couple nights with plans to head out on New Year's Day. Chester's got you. He'll kick you off. in this time than we did four we months did. ago. <laughs> <You did. laughs> we just don't have the welcoming committee. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Good to see y'll. I figured y'all be up by uh, the north of the place by now. <laughs> oh no no we went up we were in Little River oh, I see. for the last four months. <laughs> We, we had a cruise at the end of November, which made us late uh -huh. leaving, and then we just kind of stuck around because I'd pay through <laughs> December, might as well stay. Yeah, yeah. And then, this was the perfect day to leave. We were like, oh, <laughs> excellent. Well, good to see you guys. Yeah, so, I don't know if we're here for a night or for a few nights or for a week, we don't know. Whatever. Oh, we love Bucksport, as you can tell. trying to get out of your way. <laughs> so it's 8 a.m. now. Yeah. So there was a little amount of wholesale boat down here. Because of board young guys. And they took off about 7.30. After the fog burned off enough, we left the dock and headed over to the fuel dock to fill up the diesel tanks.
okay. <laughs> Didn't even take your time, I'm here to a Yeah, we'll, we'll get over there sooner or later. Yeah. Grandma's slow, but she's old. It's okay. Well, the tide's actually, I think, starting to go that way a little bit. It's yeah. It's high, but the current decided that my initial plan to tie up on the starboard side was unacceptable so we adjusted course and tied up on the port side instead Kick him overboard. Look at that. She knows what she's doing. Uh, we gonna, yeah, we need to do that. So we go, okay going over that rail or we need to go under that rail? Oh. Uh, just for a few minutes. Yeah, just for a few minutes. You're fine we'll over fine. the rail. We'll be out. It's, it's really slack out there. Yeah. I got a rope back here. I don't have a rope. <laughs> we didn't, I didn't grab a rope in the back like a dumbass. Where are I? Tell you what, since I'm right here and we're this close, I'm actually going to go under that rail for you. Good for your fuel head. Yeah, perfect. Okay. You're coming up on, well, you got like 20, almost 29 now. You just passed 30. 31. You're 32, so you're, you're in your ballpark. What was the first one? 16. What was the first one? I forgot now you were like 16 or 17. I did have a guy come in on a trawler the other day and he got like 60 gallons in one tank. And he's like, I want like 80 gallons in the other tank. See how it's already leaning to one side? <laughs> you know, I need to try to correct that. <laughs> right. Whatever you want, Captain, you pumping. How are we looking? How are we looking? Where are we got up there now? You got almost 34 gallons. Let me know I hit 34. Oh, you got 34 and a half. Okay. 34.51. We'll stop there. Mine's been on the whole time. Oh, I love your little thing in the end of it. It makes it easier to, for you to throw Toss it. Toss and, and yeah. Out. Most people try to throw line and it's just a tangled up wad coming at you. And you can't <laughs> throw it because there's no weight to it. Right, exactly. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. And you managed to do all that and not get it wet. I know. <laughs> okay. Can't push much as hard as do. I'm going to end up in the water. And, well, yeah, no problem. I, I was more worried enough. about the back going into it than... You kept the gun he's backing out and going away. Look Hopefully. <laughs> as long as he doesn't go. He's got this.
straight on out. Charge my trusty steed. You can show your support for us and our channel for free by hitting the subscribe button below and also by sharing our videos with your friends and family. Click on the notification bell to be alerted when we upload new videos and ensure you don't miss any of the fun. Also, be sure to give us a like and or leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.